We're here with Team Nigeria's Godwin Olufua, who is a double silver medalist at the 2023 African Games in Accra. Congratulations, Godwin. Thank you very much. So yesterday you won your two medals of the competition. How would you rate this competition for you? You said this is your second African Games. Uh, I will rate this competition nine because this was one of my best performance. At Rabat, it was I lost to Julian Paul. He's the African number one. So I lost to him at the quarterfinal, at the semifinals. He was the one that defeated me to get uh, a bronze medal in my singles. So now it's just like payback, coming back to meet him in the quarterfinals. So I defeated him in quarterfinals. So got into the semifinals, it was quite easy for me because I'm playing my fellow Nigerian. So get into the finals, I'm playing my own fellow rivalry, which is a number one for So it was a really a good match. So we can go my way. Beating the top seed at this competition, how much did that boost your confidence ahead of the semis and the final? Uh, it, it really boosts my confidence. Actually, I actually lost confidence before because due to my last poor performance in Egypt. So I came back, I was, I was actually training and doing a lot of individual training to myself just to boost my confidence so that I can be able to perform perfectly well, better than Egypt. So I get into my first game, I was playing penalty. I think that was not really strong, but it didn't actually prepare me very well so that I can be able to feel myself on the court to know where I can be able to stand. But after playing my round of 16 against the Algerians, I got my confidence because I know I'm going to play Julian Paul. So I got that feeling, that inspiration, because I have played him before, I have beaten him before, despite the fact that we are good, also good driver is too. So I got that confidence that I am meeting him and I believe in myself that I'm going to do it. So that confidence was there. So after defeating him, so I got a lot of under my confidence level now increased from from 80% to 100%. So why play Victor, my fellow Nigerian player? That guy is also a very good player, which another player we have to look after too. So but I got more experience for the team. So and being on top of my game, so I, it really showed that yes, I am better. And in the final, it was a very close game. You were leading, you know, in the first set at some point. I'm sure after all that you had done in the quarterfinals and semis, you were confident that you could win the gold here. Yeah? Yes, I was very confident because I was following Bomba to Bomba, so I don't want to leave that game for him too. <laughs> even in the first games that I won, I was even leading 2016. He came back struggling and got 2020, but still, you know, I don't want to let go. And also, I am very hungry for it too at the same time. So winning the first game, then coming back, second game, it got to a point that he wanted to like okay come back stronger in the second game, but he was leading 11-7 at the second game. But I had to like come back stronger, boost my morale as well. That's why I see most of the game I was actually shouting to motivate myself as well. But um, I came back 11 all, then 12 all, then got into 17-17. The game I just like I, I switched off, I just go off. So it didn't actually not go my way. But it was a really a good game. He played very well and he's also a good player. We're actually good driver is player, so he's a very good player as well. What has this competition taught you about yourself? Uh, this competition has taught me a lot of self-confidence because there's some time that I, like, I was giving up because I, I based in Doha, Qatar. So it's quite stressful, you know, combining my job and also in training, combining the two together. So I didn't really have enough time to, to myself to practice. I practice a lot, but still, you cannot compare the same feeling when you are in camp in Nigeria and because this is like the first time I am being invited as a foreign athlete. So the feeling and you know, I've not really, really get used to all this. So being my first time coming as, an, as a foreign athlete and being my first time not being with the team in the camp. So I'm feeling somehow I'm feeling I'm not part of the team or something like that. You know, that feeling will be there. but. I was trying to just keep myself calm, be patient, trying to, because it got to a point that I almost want to give up, like seriously, I almost want to give up, even during processing visa in Egypt, because I've never processed any visa from other country before. So it got to a point they don't want to give me the visa, or like worried, so worried, so confused. You know, these are the things that will kill your morale mentally. So it got to a point that I have to be going to the embassy every time, and that's really interrupt my training 
processes as well but i still believe in myself that's one thing i believe in myself i believe i have self-confidence i believe that with the little i have done because i know i gave my best with the little time i have i always give my best i always train very hard because i know what i want as a player because when i'm in nigeria i'm not the lazy type i always give my best i always train very hard like a mad dog so getting to egypt was like a nightmare for me after struggling because i've never played a match struggling like this in my life before maybe i took maybe because of the the stress you know training the stress the job so i didn't have enough time to rest because i was coming out the way from doha maybe i was taking this fatigue but my coach said yeah, it is lack of stamina whereas i trained but you know everybody wants to share their input but i took that as a challenge i didn't see that as a form of embarrassment or form of disappointment but i took that as a challenge so after my poor performance i got to the finals as well in doubles but i lost in the way in my games i know that was not i'm not at top of my game so i had to take that as a challenge and come back stronger i know it was i have only four days three days left to Post my confidence level and also my fitness level since the coaches have already given their share their thoughts and I won't say or oh, say no they don't know what they're saying about but I just took it over myself as a challenge so when I came back I was doing my own self training before general training I used to go to the track the coach there's one thing they call busting it's like going to the track you go and do 800 meters 200 meters so that I was doing before general training before eight o'clock I was doing that consistently for four days and look at the result. It has really paid very well. I'm surprised at my performance, honestly. Before with the struggle, I didn't open even I was just praying to just get to the medal table because I didn't believe I would get to the to the I would even believe I would get a medal because of the struggle, because of me coming out first time coming out as a foreign player, first time not being in the camp you know i already have that feeling before being in the camp and i know the way i perform but i prepared i know i prepared very well but with the feeling it feels as if i didn't prepare so that feeling was there but i just thank god for everything at least for me even defeating julian paul because i know many people had many doubts due to my last performance i, I know many people have actually criticized me for my last performance so people felt that i know i'm not even deserve to be in the team but God has actually proven everybody wrong. God has, uh, that's why this medal, I just gave it to God. Like, God actually did this for me. Because even when I was playing, you can hear some of my way, I was actually praying on the court. I always pray on the court when I was playing. But because I believe in myself and I believe in my capability. So God really did this for me. So this, I give God the glory for this. Do you have any other targets for this year? Ah, uh, for this year, really, because I'm not actually playing for point, but... But I know I'll be playing more tournaments, more international tournaments, maybe tournament close to the Arab country, also Europe circuit. So I am actually planning on that. So I'll be going to tournament for Europe, the one that is close to Qatar, all these other countries, European country, and Asia country, that is close to Qatar, and also Dubai, all those Arab area, Arab countries. So if I have international challenge, I can be able to participate. And I'll be willing to, if my country invite me to, I'll be always come down to come and represent me ultimately what would you want to achieve in your career uh i want to still achieve more in my career i still want to do more and i also want to maybe the next olympics i believe i can also list it because i know qualifying for the olympics it takes a lot and since i left qatar i left nigeria you know in terms of sponsorship to qualify for the olympic is quite difficult you have to have strong self you have to have strong self sponsorship for you to be able to participate in those tournaments. So I look at my struggle when I was coming up to qualify for the Olympics. It was quite rough and difficult. So looking at it now, with the way situation this is going in the country, so to get sponsorship to qualify to the tournament for Olympics is quite difficult. I know I can actually do it, but the main thing is the sponsorship. But this one for me is actually actually gone. So I am looking forward to the next Olympics. I saw before get into the Olympics after this one I'll be preparing before even the four years time so I will get look for sponsorship and also prepare myself properly and play more tournament more international tournament to end good points to boost my international ranking as well thank you very much for your time and congratulations once again thank you.